Now, wait a minute. If I don't cut off the spike when the blooms fall off, can the orchid re-bloom? Welcome one and welcome all to the people station, darling. Orchids for dummies. Yes, honey, welcome. You're at the right place at the right time, foul pals. Now, in today's video, I will simply be showing you how to cut off the stalk of a Phalaenopsis orchid. I also will be letting you know when to cut off the spike of a Phalaenopsis orchid. Stay tuned, foul pals. Alrighty, foul pals. So, this bit video is dedicated to some of my members in my Foul Pal group on Facebook. Their name is Ping Song and my Foul Pal Debbie. Also, this beautiful Phalaenopsis right here, a no ID Phalaenopsis, is going to be named after my Foul Pal Maxine. So, if you guys want a little bit more interaction with all of your Foul Pals, join our Facebook group, darling. We are one big family welcoming you to a place of love. Now, after these blooms fall off, the next thing that you want to do is determine whether or not you want to cut off the, the stem of a Phalaenopsis orchid. This is the prime example of when you want to cut off the, the stem of a Phalaenopsis orchid. Yes, indeed, um, Miss Debbie, if the stem is still green and plush, it can give you a bloom. These little things right here, let me give you some close-ups, baby. Stay tuned. Now, Foul Pals, as you can see, this is going to be a bud of a Phalaenopsis orchid, which means it's this flower in its growing stages. This right here is going to be bud blast, meaning that the flower will not um, finish being produced from this stem. This right here, you see it? This is going to be the first stage to this right here, which is a bud, okay? Foul pals, so when you have a stem of a phalaenopsis, sometimes it can have offshoots like right here. Now, you would oftentimes hear people refer to this as a node right here, see? And this is called an offshoot because now it's giving you a whole new branch of flowers from this main stem. Now, what I want to challenge you guys is to ask you what part of the NPK would be responsible for producing buds and producing your flower stalk. We just finished talking about NPK. If you're not familiar with orchid fertilizer, I will leave you a playlist at the end of this video also, an info card above. So, this right here is a flower stalk that is still healthy. Now, it is not actually growing any buds right now. What it is doing is in this dormant phase. So, when the time comes for it to rebloom, it could actually rebloom a lot faster than a phalaenopsis that does not have a stalk already. Okay, foul pals? I hope I'm making sense to you. I'm not going to be before you long at all. I just want to give you several examples so you can understand. Now, as you can see, this right here is a healthy, well, it's drying up, okay? It's drying up. As you can see, this one is drying up as well. Now, it's not finished drying up. Remember, you only want to cut it when it um, turns gray or brown when it's all the way at the base, See, it's still green at the base. So what the flower stalk is doing, your flower or your phalaenopsis orchid isn't actually dying. What it's doing is it's a natural process that is happening. You have to remember that the phalaenopsis stalk holds a lot of nutrients in it, and it also takes a lot of nutrients and time and energy to produce. So you might hear people say after the flower reblooms, cut the stalk. But they aren't specifically saying when it's still green and plush, like this one right here, Fail Pals. So, this is how another example of why you don't want to cut it immediately. Because a lot of people will say, okay, you have a sick Phalaenopsis orchid with no roots. She does not need to focus on um, producing flowers. That's actually not what I'm concerned about, Fal Pals. 
As you can see, I cut it off at the tip. Sometimes you can do that. Um, if you cut it right under the last flower, you can sometimes encourage it to rebloom if the orchid is healthy. Now remember, this orchid is sick. All that she has is her leaves, no roots, so no way to absorb nutrients, okay? So that is the reason why you want to keep the stem on the Phalaenopsis all the way till it dies back because this orchid is going to someday need it perhaps and like i said you will have a better chance of it producing a offshoot when the next time for it to rebloom okay last but not least let's cut off the stem of the phalaenopsis orchid when it needs to be removed i have a pair of shears and these have not been um, sterilized because the part of the orchid we are cutting is dead. So you don't have to worry about anything being transferred. Be very careful because the, um, the flesh, skin, whatever it is called of the Phalaenopsis orchid is very sensitive. As you can see, it just snap pop just like that. So you wanna be very careful. But I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope I was able to bring you joy and happiness. Let me know what part of the NPK would you use to encourage growing a flower stalk, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next.